They say, go to world 84, good XP, portables, boosts. What is this? I can't even see what I'm doing. Anyways, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to episode 5 of the Remax Grind. But kicking off this video, we are giving ourselves 110 Herblore. The other goals for this video is to mainly get halfway to 99 Archaeology. The grind has seemed pretty, uh, pretty long so far. We're going to have a lot of artifacts that need restoring, so we will definitely be picking up the XP rates that way. So yeah, let's go. I recorded this clip right here without any audio because I just did it for like a daily challenge clip. But when I was doing it, the pet drop was like done the exact same time that my XP drop went. So it like made perfect sense. I got so excited and I thought that I got the pet drop, but it wasn't me. It was the other dude. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm level 86, I'm moving location and I'm just going back through a couple of them to complete the logs with things that I've missed. So restoring these nice level 87. I don't have enough anymore, okay. Uh, but yeah, I've now got some bits that I can use to complete some more logs, so I'm gonna do that now. Something I would like to ask real quick to you guys watching, if any of you are creative and good with editing softwares and can make some intros, then pop me a DM on Twitter because I'm looking for a new one for the channel. So yeah, if you wanna work together on it, then that'll be awesome, just let me know. Anyway, the XP is starting to drag with the excavating, so it's nice to have all of these artifacts to restore because with them we can get ourselves these levels with some nice XP jumps. And yeah, there we have level 88. Oh, and 3000 milestone. That's a neat little thing that I wasn't expecting to hit, but yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it's only the virtual level, but still, hey, it counts. And with restoring this artifact, there we go, level 89. We have a few artifacts in my inventory here, which is gonna tick off level 90, which is great. I thought I had enough materials for all of them, but apparently not this fine. <laughs> I've also done my daily challenge today. That got me around 100 and something K, so definitely helped out. But with this final artifact here, Bum, ba -da bum level 90, awesome. And down in the chat as well, level 90 in all skills, which is fab. We've unlocked a new dig site, which I'm going to go and check out now. I'm going to refer to the guide to see what my next move is, and I'll see you guys in a bit. We can now complete the Bandosian 1 collection, if we just go ahead and add those. There we go. And a nice 10k chronotes pile there as well, so yeah, really cool. I'm now going to go and collect up the rest of the keys that I need to make the mattock because it's more of an upgrade than the one I've got. So yeah, let's go and do that, and then I'm going to go and do some Slayer. I'm hoping that you guys can see the difference in quality from this clip to the last one because I've decided to upgrade my recording and editing software uh, so it should now be in 60 FPS, which is nice. The other clips before this may not be, but here on out it should be. So yeah, hopefully it looks good for you guys. But we are currently on the first Slayer task with Abbey Demons where I actually get to use my Holy Agrova load since I made them. So yeah, it's very useful. Like I said, when I made them in the last video, it's just nice to have. It takes up less space in your inventory and why not have them in one pot? It's good. I'm really glad that I went for it and have them. I think I have around 300 of them made up so far. So yeah, it'll last us a little while. It is also really nice because before I took my break, whenever I'd come to Abbey Demons, if you had the loot collection tab open, you wouldn't attack back, so you'd just lose health. But now, I don't know when they patched this or when they did it, um, but yeah, now you can just space bar through it, keep it open, and you still attack back. So yeah, win-win, I like it. <laughs> so I've just logged back in, and I had this notification this morning in my emails, but now it is in-game as well, and that is that RuneScape is coming to mobile. This has been a very long time coming, when I actually visited the HQ, I believe this was back in 2014, so we're talking yonks ago, this was a long time ago. It was literally just in the works then, like it wasn't being created, but it was something that was definitely coming, we just didn't know when. But no, I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, I don't really personally have a need for the app, but I'll definitely check it out here and there. I guess you could get some progression on the go, stuff like that. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down below. I've just finished up my first Calgarian demon task and we've got a decent amount of loot. It's worth around 1.3 mil and I have got some other stuff that I banked as well. So yeah, probably, I don't know, probably close to two mil we made in this task. So it wasn't really 
wasn't really too bad. I'm not going to be able to get a Slayer level in this video, um, but I have upgraded to the Dragon Rider Lance from the uh, Masuta's War Spear. So what I'm going to do now, as it is level 15, is just take off the Gizmos so I can pop them on the Lance. So let's go ahead and do this. I've never done this before. Cool. There we go. So now we have the Gizmos from it and we have 46 mil left from buying this so we don't have too much but this weekend i am actually going to be checking out uh, the new bosses so yeah that'll be in the next video right in oh dear literally <laughs> ideally in the future i would like to get a scythe so i have all of the nox weapons but for now we'll just go with the lance because it's only for slayer and it is uh, rated higher than the war spear anyway so it is gonna help there we go that's a nice little upgrade i'm gonna go and do some more Archaeology now, 283k to go until 91. I nearly have enough keys to make the Imkandomatic, and then I think I have one of the pieces left to get as well. Sweet, there we go. We have just got the second to last key that we need. The last one is in the mining area, just in the back corner here. There we go, we have it. I was mining the uh, Necrite Ore, but yeah, it was taking too long, so I thought, let's just try this one, and within a couple of ticks, we managed to get the key, so there we go. That is all of the keys collected. The final one is already in the door, so whenever I have the last piece, I'll be able to go in there and make the mattock, but I do believe we should be able to open the door now, even if we can't make the mattock. And there we go. Forge doors are open. Just one more piece to get, which I'll get from the excavation spot. Amazing, there we go. We have the last piece of the metal that I need in order to go ahead and make the mattock, so let's do that now. They've had an update, right? The dragon mattock that you need is actually a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. It was, well, it's around 15.5 mil. I did get it for 15 mil, uh, but yeah, still wasn't expecting that. My cash stack is looking sad. So definitely going to be doing a bunch of Slayer and PVM this weekend to make up for it. But let's go ahead and construct ourselves the Imkando Mattock. There we go. Pretty nice. It is that time again where we get to hand in our dailies. So let's go ahead and see the yes, S nice level 91 archaeology very very nice i believe i'm now moving on to another location oh my god too many things happening at once uh yeah moving on to another location now until 92 and that was the goal for the video 92 so yeah look how much xp yeah we can smash it we can do this i received some golden rocks earlier on and didn't actually know what they were for so they're actually just for this plinth right here just like the ones in the varrock museum yeah get some nice xp so pretty cool at the moment, I've got a lot of artifacts to restore, and they should actually help me get to level 92, or very, very close. I don't have all the materials that I need, I don't think, but I should be, like I said, very close, which will also tick off some more of my logs, which is nice. But whilst I'm doing this, I just want to update you guys on something, because I'm really happy with it. You know I showed you a picture of my PC, I think a couple of videos ago? I don't really remember which episode it was on, but I did show you guys my PC. I actually got some new RAM, which looks awesome. I really love it. And I just wanted to show you guys because why not? I also love seeing what setups and stuff you guys have. So if you do want to send me any, just pop over to my Twitter and send me a DM. You should be able to message me uh, without any restrictions. So yeah, just show me because I always find it really cool to see. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone who listens to... The Marvel soundtracks whilst they're in the shower because that's what that's what's happening right now. If you can hear that, I'm sorry. Um, but yes. Anyway, back to archaeology. How much XP do we have? Oh, we are so close. After some more excavating and a couple more artifacts, there we go. Level 92, halfway to 99. The grind from uh, level 90 to 92 wasn't actually that bad so I'm hoping that it just sort of keeps this speed because the artifacts um, XP that you get from them it does speed up so yeah we are just over halfway to 99 and I'm thinking it won't take too long a couple of weeks maybe max and then we will be max <laughs> yeah very very nice thank you to everyone who has watched this video hopefully 
you did enjoy if you just had that crack it was my shoulder but yeah like i said thank you for watching guys smash the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one